Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say. So are you not going to get any coffee? Oh, well actually I was, I was over by the bar just uh, before I saw you and had a coffee there and I try not to drink too many, I get, it actually has a strong effect on me so I don't need that much energy, I've, I've had enough so I'm, I'm good. Correct, now most guys can't do this, you know, so it's, it's very cool, makes you look very confident and strong when you can hold eye contact like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say because it shouldn't always be you, right? Can you tell me some things you like to do for fun. Well, since I, as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball. So that's ah, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I mm -hmm. played it at school. They had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play, I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a pinch. nice. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and smash sure. it down. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. But yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian for hobbies. Russia? Mm-hmm. And Russian, that's... That's kind of weird, to be honest. I mean, can you pick like a better country or better language? Well, I know that, I mean, there's certainly the... People sometimes think that maybe Europe is more interesting or safer or something, but I've spent a lot of time in Russia and well, it's, it's wonderful. Well, I mean, look at Putin. He goes around invading everywhere, blowing stuff up. Look at Putin all is just one facet of a very complicated place. Lots of vodka, bears, snow. Isn't it just like a desolate wasteland full of no, horrible people? It's really not. The people are wonderful. There is some issues with alcohol. One foot gold digging and beating people up, isn't it? You need to get out of... If you go beyond Moscow, I think you would find in the small towns, people are really pleasant. Peasant or pleasant? Pleasant. It sounds... It's wonderful. Sounds disastrous. And also, look at there. I mean, they have literary giants, Dostoevsky. He's amazing. Yeah, he Some was, people like Tolstoy. He was pretty good, but look at all the politics and stuff. I mean, what are you, like a communist or something? No, I'm not a communist. And actually, neither... So you don't love freedom and Amer the American way and all that? Russia is, is not a communist country. No, but it's like a... I mean, how long's Putin been in power? Like 100 years or something, you know? And he used to be the boss of the KGB. It's just a... Yeah, FSB. Yeah. Well, I think if you can separate yourself at all from one aspect, you don't have to like everything about a culture to appreciate it. So you, you study Russian, you like Russia, but you're not evil, is what you're telling That's me. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. And neither are they. I give you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you. The lesson here is to try and be empathetic. So if someone's taken the time to study Russian, why don't you find out why, right? It takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy. It's a lot harder than other subjects. So before you judge, Try and listen a little bit and you might learn something. Ruski, I also speak Russian. Yes, very well, of course. Where do you know? Yes, very well. I speak many languages as well, not only Russian. I speak a lot of German, Chinese. Oh, wow. You're so beautiful. Yeah. What else does I speak? Um, Japanese? Watashi wa nihongo ga wagaremasu Japanese? Subarashi. Um, what else? Arabic? Um, Salamu alaikum, Habibi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This. Um, German. Yeah, German. Got quite good German. Been a while. Uh, schnell, schnell, los. Show me your papers. Like this. Uh, hablo espanol. Hablo. Yeah, habla is girl, hablo, man. Um, Italiano, eh, hey, cacazzo, eh, 
Mm, Finocchio, eh? Aren't those just cuss words? No, no, um, no. Uh, but I speak, I speak those as well. But cool. basically, I speak most languages. There's just, you know, when they have like this tribe in the Amazon and they don't, they don't meet the outside world or they communicate with clicks and whistles. Uh, I'm not so good with those, oh, but well. otherwise, pretty much every language I can speak. So wow, yeah. We should, uh, if you like languages, then. You're the hot ticket. I'm the man. Okay. And many other things, but languages. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, cool. Um, that's nice. But um, again, it's always better to keep the conversation focused on her. It's an interesting subject, right? There's a lot to say about it. She's got a lot of feelings, a lot of things that she could tell you about it. Why not use that as an opportunity to connect rather than talking about yourself now? You could wait until she actually asks you, which she logically might if you give her the chance. I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? Um, was born in London, but actually, you know what? When I was when I was young, I, I lived in South London, and they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London, and things like this. But um, because I travelled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. It's funny you should ask me about my accent because mm -hmm. girls just go crazy for it. Do they really? Yeah, I'm, maybe you are a bit now, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, just everywhere I go, I go, oh my God, are you British in America or in, I don't know, Brazil, everywhere? Say tomato, say tomato, say this. And then they just don't have to do anything, can talk about the most boring subject. And the girls just, you know, like this. So yeah, just girls want to sleep with me based on the accent. When I try, in England they don't, but... You know, when I travel, they really do. So that's why I travel, to be honest. Just to get laid a lot. Gross. That's my accent. That's very gross. Very lucky. Lucky. Hmm. Proud to be British because of that, mainly. So if you want me to say, you know, some, some stuff, tomato, potato, or whatever you say, um, with my English accent, tomato. How does that make you feel? Does I feel nothing. You, does it make you randy? <laughs> oh my God. You like it? No, I'm sorry, that's... I don't fetishize the British accent. So. Oh, sorry. what? What accent do you like then? I wouldn't... I don't fetishize any accent. Ugh, it's a bit boring, because I can do French accent and, you know, a few other accents. No, oh, sorry. Wasted, you're telling me it's wasted on you? It's wasted. So I Solidly need to get wasted. you wasted, is the way. <laughs> or something else, yeah. Okay. Although it's very true, 100% true, you don't need to say it, do you? And I guess you like my British accent. Yeah, it's nice. That's good. Yeah, most people like it, so mm -hmm. it's good. I'm happy I was born in England and not like uh, Germany or something. Or... Oh, really? Yeah, what do you think? German accent is kind of I think it sounds and... fine. Yeah? You yeah. like Arnold Schwarzenegger? He's Austrian, but yeah. Oh ah, yeah, but similar accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, okay. A little bit too cocky, not the right time. Well, listen, I hope you don't find it forward of me, but I just think you're stunning and I want to take you on a very romantic date. Dinner, candles, the whole works. That's really sweet, but unfortunately I actually am kind of seeing someone. Ah, uh, room, is it very serious? You're going to get married? It's pretty serious. Maybe room for a, a little, you know, trial date and if it goes well you could... No, I don't think so. Him. I'm pretty serious about him. Okay, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as, as they say. Um, it's great to meet you and I'll, I'll go, go and cry. No, I mean, I'll, I'll go for No, it was okay. All right, see ya. Bye. 
It's too early to make that kind of move. That's why that didn't work. Well, listen, it's been wonderful speaking with you. So maybe I could get your number and we hang out sometime. Um, I'm sorry, it really was nice talking to you, but I just, um, I don't think so. Why, you, you don't like men or you have a boyfriend? I, I just don't want to see you again. Okay, but it was nice, right? Nice yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to see you again as well. I just said it to be polite. But okay. That, that's, that's all right. Don't worry about that. Cool. See you then. Enjoy your book. Thank and you. Coffee and... Yeah. This is a case of going for the number when you're not sure that she likes you. If you are having an open conversation, if you find things that you could do together, if she's smiling, then you can ask for the number. If you ask for it otherwise, you know, even if you're persistent, it's likely to fail. What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. At the same time? <laughs> when the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. Do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. They say yeah. it's really unhealthy, but... It I seems think unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore... It's know. healthy? Yeah. So we need to do it sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, and then dancing. Oh, maybe. When you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do, she does some things that you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. And do you have any other outdoor, like, active stuff you like to do? You yeah. Volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking and I love fishing. Fishing? Fishing, yeah. A girl who likes fishing? It happens. Yeah, wow. We, we exist. That's interesting. I've never, never done fishing, but I love the outside as well, you mm -hmm. know, walking in uh, parks or, yeah, mm -hmm. hiking if you've got somewhere like that. How about bicycle? I like that too. Yeah. Well, that's something else we could do one day, like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Cool. Hey, well, come closer a second. Mm -hmm. I'll just see something. That's it. Well, come back. What are you doing? I just wanted to touch your face. You've got really Why? soft skin and you look, you look like a little baby. I just wanted to like, kuchi kuchi kuchi. Something like that. That's a little unusual. No, no. I don't like that. Normal, normal. Guys don't do that to you? No. Guys don't do that. To you? Period. I do it all the time. Girls love it. Because it's like <laughs> a big compliment. You look young, you have nice skin, so touch your face. Oh, I'm sorry. That makes me uncomfortable. I wash my hands, if that's what you're worried about. No yes. germs or bacteria or whatever. Still, no. Hmm. Well, maybe it's too soon. I'll wait. Definitely too soon. Like next time we meet, have a few drinks and then get some face touching going on. Yeah? I don't think so. I'm sorry. I really want to touch your face now. I, All right. It's creepy. Okay. Okay, that was a funny example, but in the daytime you really don't need to touch her at all. It's fine just to work towards the number and have a good conversation. I've got an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Tell me what kind of men you like. Hmm. I would say I like men who know how to do manly things. Like... Like fighting. No, like fishing and hunting and fixing a car. Hunting? You like men that go and kill poor little animals with assault rifles? I li they don't take assault rifles to kill animals. Uh, but I... And I like guys who are sensitive. You're not one Feminists. of these girls, hang on, that was pictured with the lion that they killed in South Africa. I believe she was European. Yeah? Yeah. But you support that as well. Hunting. Uh, killing animals. Do you uh, eat beef? Kill an elephant and eat the... No, I wouldn't eat an elephant. But... You'd take his tusk and make a necklace? No. Mm. Do you eat meat? No. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So I won that. Yeah. <laughs> Got you there. You thought you had me, right? I did. Yeah. Okay. Well, most people do. And my shoes. These shoes don't have leather, so you can't get me on. I actually suede. Yeah. That's from an animal, isn't mm -hmm. it? Too. <laughs> okay. And I like. Uh, let's see. Manly, sensitive, feminist. Yeah. Do you ever meet men like this, I or have. is it like dream? No, I've met guys material. like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Manly but sensitive, mm -hmm. feminine but manly. No, no, they're feminists. feminists. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. not like feminine, it's like... No. Supporting women? Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's... that's something, yeah. <laughs> that's a quality. Cool. Yeah. Okay, interesting mm -hmm. answer. Mm -hmm. Most girls just say rich and with a Ferrari or something. But... No, that would be a turn off. Yeah, okay. This is showing a little bit too much interest. I think it's unnecessary, um, you know, to ask that kind of stuff, to ask if she has a boyfriend, to, you know, try and show that much interest. The fact that she's talking to you, the fact that she's smiling, if she gives you the number, if she meets you again, duh, she likes you. So you don't need to be that explicit. But listen, I think things are just going swimmingly between us. So. I've just noticed something. There's a restroom over there, right? And wait a second while I tell you my plan. You seem like an adventurous girl. Correct me if I'm wrong. You said you like, you know, doing different things. So what we're going to do, you're going to go to that restroom and I'm just going to bang your brains out. Oh my God. No. No. Just... Well, just quickly. Three, four minutes. I know you're busy. I don't even know what to say. This is so shocking. Well, I know you're offensive. happy. I know you're happy. No. You can say thank you. It's going to be great. Let's go now. You're a pervert. And I want you to leave I've my table. I've heard that before. I'm sure you have. I'm going to Really, leave. you need to leave. I'm going to leave this the is, table. No, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, you're going to love it. I'm going to leave the table. I'll go and wait there. Okay. Get ready, you know, so to speak. You go do that. You come and join me in like 30 seconds so that people don't see us growing together. All right? So... You're going to come in 30 seconds, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You'll be there? No, I won't be there. Just go. Go to the bathroom. Go to the, I don't need to go to the bathroom. To, I wanted, like, I don't need to... I'm not going with use you. Use the bathroom in Listen, that. really, this is, this is totally inappropriate, extremely offensive, and I have been very clear. I get it, I get it. You're a shy girl, but trust me, this is going to be, like, the best five minutes of your no, entire seriously, life. No, seriously. Just, just... Wonderful. Just leave. Get lost. No more. I don't want, not another word. You do nope. want. Stop. Seriously, you're, but you're just, creeping me out. Just give me, no, I don't wait I, until you see what I've got I here. I am serious, you're extremely creepy. I want you to leave. Extremely creepy? Extremely creepy. Look, okay, look, I've had it with you. I'm not gonna, it's like, okay, oh, just, please I take a million dollars. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Here, have these Lamborghini keys, drive it. No, no. I don't want it. Okay, Let's fine, go. I'm going. True gentleman. So listen, it was great speaking to you. I should go, but give me your number and I'll message you. Okay. This is okay. You know, you get the number if you ask like this, usually. But it's much better if you can actually arrange something that you're going to do, kind of tell her what to expect, maybe arrange the day and time even, to take away as much of the uncertainty as possible, deal with as much as possible in that initial meeting. Okay, so I'm going to get going, but it was, it was lovely, lovely to see you. Yeah. Um, come, give me a little hug. Oh, too, soon. too oh, soon? Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Um, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, best, I'll call you anyway. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. The surprise kiss never works. Remember that a kiss should only come after you've created a nice seductive bubble and she wants it and she's given you all the signs that she's ready.
Okay, so I'm going to get going, but it was wonderful to meet you. And, um, you know, I guess we'll meet again soon. Yeah. Uh, do some stuff. I'll message you and... Um, yeah, it was it was lovely to see you. So you, yeah, you too. I'll okay, take bye. my hand. Bye. Just because a girl allows you to touch her doesn't mean you should touch her as much as possible. We need to, you know, keep that respect and not overstep the boundary. So the minimum is good. Fast touches, soft, and not like that. Okay, so I, I better be going. See ya. Okay, bye. This one is counterintuitive, but it's exactly the right answer. The reason is that if you're too friendly at the leave and like, okay, see you again soon, it's lovely to meet you, really enjoyed it, see you, see you, bye bye, like that, then it just means that she knows that you like her, she's, she knows you're going to message her, and she's not really thinking about it. If you do the opposite and you're kind of cold, she might think, hang on, did I do something wrong there at the end? Does he really like me? Will he message me? Does he want to see me again? Just makes you look very cool and keeps her thinking about you in the interim. Uh, between the time where you say bye-bye and the time when you message her and get in touch again. This is a playful opener. Again, it can work if you...